do you have to get, get into the tokenomics? Do you have to have uh, secondary markets and sort of price fluctuations? Is that necessary when you're also engaging with blockchain or can you separate those two? I think you're doing research on this, but the way I've thought about it is you should be able to separate it, especially from a traditional business standpoint yeah. or even any organization it should be looking at what does the, the tech stack provide? What can we do that's unique? And then the token value supports that because it's providing that utility. So the token value should be directly related to that mm. utility that it's providing. Anything else, it's, it kind of becomes a secondary effect. Uh, it may not be something you actually want, but I think at, at the end of the day, if you're like, oh, should we partner with this blockchain company? Should we partner this, with this other one? It really comes down to what what are they solving? Yeah. And what is that utility? Rather than looking at the hype of saying, oh, we've heard a lot about this blockchain, this makes sense, or we've mm -hmm. heard a lot about this one, it should really be what specific technical architecture do they have? What is a problem that you're solving? That entity that you're partnering with, let's say, do they understand what you're trying to solve? And can you guys work together on whatever design that is right. to say, okay, good, this is a problem that we're solving. Or are you just trying to score sort of PR points yeah. internally even, you know, with your board, with a leader who just woke up one day and said, blockchain! And so you're going to have a press release level partnership, but not actually solve problems. And we've seen them. And I think that's that's why with what you're saying is that like, with, look, a lot of our research is showing that tokenomics is something is a whole new area that is, you know, what you're saying, like, do you, does tokens have to be part of what you're doing? It doesn't. But when you're, I think it gets confusing. When are tokens necessary? Tokens, I think, is more or less is not not that debatable now that, like, if you're building a permissionless layer one, right, a peer, like a, a decentralized permissionless layer one, tokens are important because it's a way to reward validators. It's a way to be able to say things, X things were done. And that's that makes sense. But mm -hmm. for an enterprise situation, you may not need to build on a layer one um, especially permissionless public layer one. Right. So in most cases, I would say like 99%, you're not going to be working with an open layer one mm -hmm. um, for most more internal cases. And that might change as like more things happen. But right now, a lot of the work that's happening in enterprise space has nothing to do with tokens. It's having to do with, you know, permissioned yeah. um, private blockchains or more semi-public private. So I think it's really important to understand like when are tokens even necessary? And I think tokenomic design, when you're designing a whole new economic system, a lot of things are still being worked out. And tokens make sense, I think, when you're really building out an ecosystem, a network. It's a new way to be able to represent behavior behavior and economic design. But when you're building out a business, um, especially with very unclear regulation, you want to yeah. be very careful getting any involvement in tokens when things are, you know, when you're building a business, I don't think it needs to be confused right now with tokenomics.